What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over Trend Pro and Trend Panel. It's a new update brought to you by Trend. Uh, but we're going to be doing a basic review of it, how it works, what it does, and how each indicator uh, functions. Um, just a disclaimer, I am affiliated with Trend, but this is just a video to help you understand if Trend is for you. And if it's not for you, that's great. If it is for you, that's great as well. Down in the description below, I will have a detailed description with timestamps of what we've gone over today as well as links to subscribe to Trend and a discount code for first time users to get 20% off their first month of using Trend, as well as a link for the documents that are related to the new updates with frequently, frequently, frequently asked questions, and as well as a link for Trend's YouTube channel so you can look and get detailed uh, videos about, about how each indicator uh, functions within Trend. All right, so let's get into it. So first and foremost, after you have subscribed to Trend, you're gonna go up to Indicators, Invite-Only Scripts, and you'll see TV Pro and TO Panel. Understand that TrendBot Pro and Trend Oscillator Panel only plug into TradingView. It does not plug into any other brokers. It does not plug into MT4, NinjaTrader, TOS, Weeble. It only plugs into TradingView. Now it does work with any market type and ticker on TradingView, but it only works on TradingView. You only need the free version of TradingView to use TV Pro and TO Panel as it is only two indicators uh, that you'll be using. However, if you want to use more functions that TradingView offers, such as alerts, real-time data, uh, and whatever else that TradingView offers, you would have to subscribe things through them. So after you add a TV Pro and TO Panel, you'll go up here, you'll see a gear wheel, you'll click that, and the same thing down at TO Panel. Once we get there, you'll see a gear wheel and you'll click that and that will bring up all the settings for us. But first, we're going to start with uh, TB Pro. So first, uh, we have buy and sell signals and sensitivity. So let's go over buy and sell signals. Buy and sell signals are simply confirmation signals to help you understand where the trend is going and where, uh, and where it is ending. Uh, it does not repaint. However, understand that when a candle is forming, a buy and sell signal can form above that candle. It can also disappear while the candle is forming. However, after the candle has closed, and if there is a signal there and it moves on to the next candle, it will stay just like you see here. If the candle closes and the signal disappeared, you will not see it ever appear again. However, like I said, it does not repaint. Once it stays there and it moves on, and if it's there, it will stay there. The reason I bring that up is in sensitivity, the lower you go, you're gonna see more buy and sell signals. So you're gonna see more buy and sell signals go up here but the higher you go, it's just going to mask it or make it disappear and help you understand and help you find those stronger signals. So lower sensitivity, you'll get more buy and sell signals, but you might have weaker signals. The higher sensitivity you go, the more or the, the higher the sensitivity you go, the less sens the less buy and sell signals you will have, um, but they will be stronger signals. Direction, we have buy and sell direction. So this will allow you to have uh, in one given direction when you're trading in the trend, just buy. And then the exit represents the sell. It's the same thing. If we flip the sell, these exits will be sell, and these buys will be exits. And I'll go over why this is a why this is a thing in a few minutes here. AI mode. So when we enable AI mode, it's going to hijack the sensitivity setting. You won't see it actually manually do it in here, but it's going to take it over, and it's going to give you the strongest sensitivity and settings to give you the strongest signals, so you can stay in longer and get out with more profit. That is what AI mode will do. It does work with both regular candles and HA candles. So if we go over to HA, you'll see it adapt to this as well. But for the duration of the video, we'll stay on regular candles. So the reason we have direction is for a few things. As you can see, we have take profit. When AI mode is on, you get take profit indicator. And it would get messy if we had it going for both buy and sell at the same time. And it would also get more messy when we enable re-entry. You'll see buy re-entry. The reason we did direction is so you can have it just be in that one given direction so you don't have multiple buy re-entries and sell re-entries and take profits. It keeps the chart nice and clean uh, and allows you just to focus on that one given trend. Now, before we go any further, uh, we're going to go into add alert just so we can go over this. TB Pro and TO panel do have alerts. We have buy alert, buy exit alert, buy take profit alert, sell alert, sell exit alert, sell take profit alert, resistance line cross and support line cross as well. And then 
EO panel has a plethora of alerts as well. Next thing we're going to go over is the EQ Cloud. So the EQ Cloud is a bunch of endless max into a cloud to help you identify strong and weak momentum. So when the candlesticks are above the cloud, it's overall bullish. When the candlesticks are below the cloud, it's overall bearish. The wider the cloud, the more momentum backing up the move. As the cloud starts to curve in and get and get thin, it signifies potentially a pullback, ranging, consolidation, and so on. So as you can see here, it curved in, momentum started to die off, as we can see, because the cloud starts to get thinner. We pulled back down, had a little bit of a sell-off, but then it continued up, curved back in, and then bearish momentum took over. And you can use the EQ cloud with the TO panel. We'll go over that because it also has a momentum indicator as well, but with candlesticks. But we'll go in that after we're done with TV Pro. Next is the reversal cloud. The reversal cloud is basically just Bollinger Bands with a lot of other logic built into it to help you identify potential reversals and pullbacks. So when it hits the bottom of the cloud, you'll see it reverse, and when you see it hit the top of the cloud, you'll see it pull back down. Uh, the best way to explain this is the top of the cloud is overbought and the bottom of the cloud is oversold. The first line is like minor overbought. The middle line is, uh, is you know, standard overbought or uh, somewhat overbought, and the top line is very overbought. And then same thing, minor, standard, very overbought. Um, and it does work with any time frame. So like I said, when it hits the top of the cloud, you're going to see it typically pull back down. When it hits the bottom of the cloud, you're going to see it typically pull back up. So as we can see on US 30 right now, the cloud is forming with it. So it does look like we'll continue to see the sell off. It does move as the market moves. So it doesn't mean that we'll see this pull back up, but it does look like we are seeing some oversold pressure. And this does, like I said, work with any time frame. So we can look at the 15 minute. It's the cloud pulls back down, bottom pulls back up. So it's great for people trying to scalp or just find the perfect entry and exit as well. And it does work with other, and it does work well with when paired with under it with other indicators as well. Dynamic support and resistance. Again, giving you support and resistance. So the red is resistance and the green will be support. So we have our support here, resistance up here. We go to daily, we'll give us our daily support and resistance lines. There you go. We're our all time high, so it's still identifying those resistance lines. But as you go lower the time frames, we'll identify it lower on the lower time frames. We have the resistance and the support. So it does work on multiple time frames. Harmonic Zag is a indicator that gives you higher high, higher low, lower high, and lower lows with a Zag formation. And it is a very instant. Uh, indicator. So as you can see here, we already have a lower low forming. And as long as it stays here within the next hour and closes, that lower low will stay. And then it should technically see a lower high. So we should see a move back up. Tunnel vision is linear regression lines also with overbought and oversold uh, indicator. So the top top line is overbought. The bottom bottom line is oversold. And then we have our channel. So top channel, bottom channel, and in the middle of it. Typically anything above the channel, above the middle line is uh, bullish anything below the middle line is bearish if it does hit the bottom of the channel typically you'll see it pull back up uh usually what i've seen on time frames it will stay within the two lines here if it does ever hit the top of it you'll see it pull back down again works with any time frame also works great with the reversal cloud as the reversal cloud has overbought and oversold indication in it as well so as you can see here it's hitting the bottom of the channel bottom of the channel on the linear regression, but also the bottom of the cloud is starting to touch it. So it is oversold, so we could see it pull back up potentially. Volatility support and resistance is an indicator that has two functions. One, it shows you the overall volatility. So when it's nice and jagged, that means volatility is, uh, there's a lot of volatility in that move. When it starts to flatline, that means volatility has died off for the bulls. And for res, it means it died off for the bears. It also acts like a support. So when it breaks below, that was support. When it breaks above, that is a resistance. Safety mode with the volatility line support and resistance. It works with the volatility support and resistance and buy and sell signals. And it works in the given direction of the volatility line. So after the break of, a, of the resistance, if a buy signal forms, you'll see it then, but it will only give you strong signals. So if we turn sell direction on, 
It'll be better to explain it as we're currently in a cell. We broke here, but it's not going to show the cell signal because potentially it could have bounced and moved on. That is why it didn't show it here, and that's why safety mode is on. After safety mode is turned on, you'll see the cell signal form here and here, um, but it will only form after that line is broke. So if it breaks above this uh, volatility line, if it breaks above the resistance one, it will no longer show any cell signals, but only buy signals. So if we turn safety mode off though, you'll see all your buy and sell signals reappear. Trend dashboard gives you all this information in a single dashboard. Gives you the current signal, which is a sell on the 15 minute, the overall trend, which is bearish. It can either be bearish or bullish. Trend movement, average, it can be overbought or oversold. Trend volatility is 90, usually above 70% is good volatility for the moves you want to get in. Trend mood is normal. It can be fearful or optimistic. And then the short trend is down, intermediate trend is down, and then long-term trend is up. So that is TB Pro. TO panel, Start the first indicator, is a momentum indicator. And just like some of the indicators up here, we have an overbought channel or an overbought area and an oversold area. So if it gets into these two boxes, this is overbought and oversold. So momentum indicator. So just like the EQ cloud, if the candlesticks are nice and small, that means that momentum has died off. The wider the candlesticks, the more momentum backing up the move. Dark red is overall bearish momentum. Light red is bearish momentum, but bearish momentum dying. Green or dark green is overall bullish momentum. Light green is bullish momentum, but dying, but dying off a little bit. Then we have divergences. So a green divergence means typically a potential bullish uh, reversal. A red, uh, red one means typically a bearish reversal. One of my favorite indicators brought to the new uh, trend is the pressure lines, and here's why. So typically, blue above white, not typically. When blue is above white, it's overall it is bear, overall bearish pressure, and then when white gets above blue, is bullish pressure. There's a strategy built into this, and I believe it's being released tonight on our YouTube channel. But when it crosses, as you can see, we went down across here. As you can see, we kind of went up. For the most part also had a little bit of a sell-off right here when it crossed and then right here when it crossed had a little bit of jaggedness and then the final cross right here took us down and this new cross took us up and so on and so forth so that helps you identify the potential pullbacks and drop-offs and uh, movements that are happening within your ticker that you're looking at Squeeze indicator, white dots means we're in the middle of a squeeze. The gray dots means the squeeze has happened. So as soon as the gray dot forms, it means that squeeze happened. So we have squeeze, 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 gray dot, the squeeze happened. Now we're in the middle of the middle of squeeze. So we're just waiting for that squeeze to end. And then just like with our um, dashboard up here, it gives you all the dashboard information from Trend oscillator panel right in this area. All right, so that is TB Pro and TO panel. Uh, if you do want to try it out, feel free to subscribe. Uh, like I said, I'll have the links in the description below. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the Discord or in the YouTube comments below. I'd love to answer them. Um, but yeah, so that is the overview of TB Pro and TO panel. Hopefully, this was educational to help you understand if this is an indicator that you can utilize as a tool in your day to day trading. Uh, Another dis and disclaimer, no indicator out there is going to be a one foolproof indicator for you, um, but that is why we add multiple indicators within here to help you understand and bring more tools into your trading day-to-day uh, -day trading strategy. So, well, thank you again for joining. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up, but we'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.